Hi everybody and welcome back to my channel. First of all, thank you for those of you that sent me messages to get well. I am better now and so we are here making an instant pot in the slow cooker function, the creamy potato soup. I have personally never used any other function in the instant pot, so this will be the first time for me using this and so we're going to find out how this comes out together. This is a really simple and easy recipe to make in the Instant Pot. It works well in the slow cooker. Again, I just wanted to see how this works in the Instant Pot. So we're just going to grab your frozen hash browns, the diced ones. I mean, honestly, it really didn't matter because it all turns into mush in the end. That's just my preference or how I think, but maybe it's because of the cooking time. I'm not really sure, but I did go ahead and use a can of cream of chicken. You want to use the full fat of everything, okay? Don't skimp out and try to get the light or the whatever version of it it is that they have. Just get the full creaminess of everything that we're going to be using in here. Now I am also using a box of chicken broth and I'm going to use part of the broth into the can right here. I'm just going to mix it up so I can get the rest of the soup out, the cream of chicken. You know how that works. You just want to make sure you get it all out as much as you can so you don't waste any of your food, right? And when you're done with that, go ahead and pour the rest of the box of the broth all inside of the Instant Pot. That's all we're gonna do. Pretty simple so far, right guys? All right, so in your slow cooker, you would put your lid on top and then you would be done. But because we have the Instant Pot and it's just a little bit different, go ahead and put your lid on top and then we're going to close it to lock it. And in the back, you're gonna see your ceiling and your vent. We don't want it on the ceiling side. We're gonna keep it on the vent side because this will help release some of the moisture and let it evaporate as we let it cook along. And you see here, I'm gonna push that slow cook function twice to move it from normal to more. Normal would be the low setting, more would be the high setting as your slow cooker would be. So we're gonna start at four hours and we're gonna let it cook. So I have about an hour left in my slow cooker, maybe a little bit more here, but I'm gonna go ahead and pull out my cream cheese and I'm going to cube these cream cheese into little squares. That's what you do when you cube, right? So <laughs> all we're doing is cubing these because we're gonna put these into our crock oh man it's not a crock pot uh, in our instant pot and we're going to help let it melt into the pot a little bit faster instead of throwing one giant chunk in there ah you can see my time here it's an hour and 16 minutes left so we have an hour and 16 minutes i'm going to go to open the lid make sure you open that lid away from you so you don't get any of that steam on top of you and let me show you guys what it looks like there it is nice and bubbly and we did nothing to it. We just threw everything in. We didn't even stir it. But go ahead and stir at this point. And you're gonna feel some of the potatoes on the bottom. They're gonna feel like they're a little bit stuck on there. Just scrape it up with your wooden spoon and that's it. And this is how they look so far. Pretty good, I think. Now we're gonna start with our cream cheese. Throw them in one at a time. You don't want to, again, put them all in once because we, we wanna keep them separated. So we're gonna throw them in, separate them, and we're gonna stir as we do each row. So you guys will just see this part. I'm not gonna talk through this part. And if you guys do notice, I do scrape along the bottom as I am stirring everything in one at a time. We're gonna continue letting this cook so that it can go ahead and melt all of our cream cheese. And if you guys notice about the lid of this, you know with your Instant Pot, you can't open the lid until the air pressure has been released. Well, because we're doing the slow cooker function and we have the venting side open, you can open and close your lid just like you would on your slow cooker at any time. Now let's get to our bacon. You can use turkey bacon, you can use regular bacon, use whatever kind of bacon it is that you like. You don't have to use a pre-cooked packaged bacon like I am. I just like to use it because I don't like the mess. You know how it splatters and I don't want to have to turn on my oven and use a baking sheet to do it all at once to control the splatter. I just don't want all of that. So I found pre-cooked bacon to be the easiest thing for me. I am using four slices. You guys use as much or as little as you like. Also note, you guys can throw the bacon into your Instant Pot while you're cooking it at the same time, but I have some people here that do not want bacon or just don't eat bacon. I don't know, it's just their preference. So I didn't throw it in mine. But follow your package instructions. Mine says to come, mine says, what was it? 10 seconds per slice. I ended up cooking mine for about 40 seconds for all 
four slices of my bacon. And voila! All cooked. Looks basically the same, but it's crunchier. <laughs> Take a look at that. It wasn't super hot to touch or anything. You can cook it a little bit longer if that's how you prefer it. But I felt this was okay. And I just grabbed some scissors and I went ahead and start cutting it because it's just a lot easier sometimes just to use scissors than pulling out your knife or doing anything else with it. I don't know, that's me. But go ahead and just cut it up into whatever size it is that you want for your soup. Also note here, if you guys don't want to use regular bacon, you can use bacon bits. Just go ahead and grab some of that and they're like, what, three ounces worth in there and you'll be good. I also have someone that doesn't like green onions or anything green in their soups. You know, my kid, the youngest one. So I went ahead and just used some scissors and I grabbed like one piece or one thing of green onions just to cut them up into smaller pieces for everybody else that wants it. You guys can use whatever toppings it is that you like, but I just thought these would be really good with the soup. I'm also using a little bit of onion as well, and I'm just gonna dice these up. Dice them up however you like them. Omit it if you don't want it. Use bigger chunks, use smaller chunks, whatever it is that you prefer. It really doesn't matter. I realized I wanted smaller onions, and the little knife wasn't cutting it, so I had to pull out the big guns here and start mincing away. Again, just use whatever size that you want. Omit it again if you don't want to use it. And my last topping of choice was just mild cheddar cheese. I feel like it just works well with the soup, don't you? All right, so I'm just gonna open up the lid and see how my cream cheese is doing in, inside of our pot so far. Look at all that steam coming out for the camera. But take a look at this. All I'm gonna do is just stir away and making sure that I don't have any of the cream cheese in its big chunky blocks. And if it does, I'm just gonna try to help move it along and melt it and I'm just gonna keep stirring and checking up on this occasionally. Oh, also add your pepper and salt to taste. If you don't want to and you wanna skip it and let everybody else just kinda of do their own thing, you can do that as well. It's not necessary for you to do it all at once, but I mean, I went ahead and did it because my kids go crazy with salt and pepper because they like to shake it all out with themselves. Anybody else have kids that do that? Just mine? No? Cricket, cricket, just kidding. <laughs> But yeah, my kids go nuts with it. They think it's so much fun to do it. I don't know why. You get the pepper grinder and they just like to keep turning and turning and turning and before you know it, it's either too salty or too spicy for them. I, so I just do it myself just to keep them from doing it. All right, so I'm gonna put my lid back on because the cream cheese wasn't fully melted away. So I went ahead and did this so it can just sit there and cook a little bit longer. I wanted to show you guys the time on this part because Basically, it was done at this point. So three and a half hours on the slow cooker function on the high heat, which is the more setting instead of the normal, the one to the right. Three and a half hours is pretty much what it took to make this creamy potato soup. So just stir away and then go ahead and just plate it or bowl it. As you can see, I put my cheese on top so it'll melt along with the soup because it was so hot. Threw my bacon, onions, and green onions, and a little bit of black pepper. If you guys like this recipe, please hit that subscribe button, like it, and share it. Leave me a comment if you'd like down below. And until the next meal, thank you for watching. Watch me cook.